think this is my fourth or fifth coffee of the day. I got about two more hours of driving to do until I get to New Jersey. It's a Saturday night, not a great time to car camp because the Rangers tend to patrol, but I've got no choice. I'm heading to the Delaware National Water Gap. There's a mountain there called Mount Tammany that I hiked years ago. It's on the Appalachian Trail. I suspect that there might be people night hiking the Appalachian Trail, like doing a section hike. The AT has worked well for me in Mass, so I'm going to try to park there again tonight. Right now, it's just a matter of staying awake. This will be the last coffee I have for a while. It's going to do a reverse kickback, and I'm going to crash hard in two hours. I am stopped at a gas station about 20 minutes from the water gap spot that I wanted to sleep at tonight. I'm going to do some prep stuff black out my windows, and most importantly, take a shower. I just feel gross. I'm still wearing my bathing suit. It's also a little gas station here with a deli, so I'm gonna pick up some dinner. Hopefully they have sandwiches or something. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I just really wanna get clean, so when I roll into the water gap tonight, which will probably be around midnight, all I have to do is crawl back here and go right to bed. Okay, here we go. Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, Appalachian Trail. In a quarter of a mile, your destination will be on the left. There we go. So there are cars parked here, but is there space enough for me to park here? I don't remember this being so popular last time I was here, but clearly a lot of cars here. Yeah, I count eight other cars here. No vans, though. None of the cars seem to have occupants in it, except for one. I'm just going to walk around, show you guys how dark and beautiful it is here. Uh, yeah, the AT doesn't usually let me down in terms of stealth spots to, to park. The fact that there's eight other cars here, you know, gives me peace of mind. I think I should have an uninterrupted night. If something happens, I'll record it, but in the meantime, I'm calling it a night. I've been up since 5.30 to go boating on some Massachusetts Lake, and here I am. I don't even know where I am. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, everyone. Sorry for the crappy light, but it's 3.58 a.m. I just heard a door slam and a bunch of human voices, like, right next to my car. So I'm going to take a peek, see what's going on. Without revealing too much of my location, let's see what's going on here. Happening out here. Yeah, sorry for the crappy light. Looks like a bunch of hikers who got back to their car at four in the morning and are now heading back. Kind of a weird time to hike in my opinion, but not cops. So I am going back to bed. Let's reveal the curtain, shall we? Oh yeah, what do we got? All right, this car is new. Where the rest of these, I don't know, a lot of them were here last night, including that one. So I had no problems last night, aside from that 4 a.m. hiker. I slept for nine hours, snoozed for another hour on top of that. Today, my plan is to explore the Delaware Water Gap for a little while. It's been a few years since I've been here. It has one of the most beautiful vistas in the country, right across the way there. It's called Mount Tammany. I've gotten it to the front page of Reddit twice. It's really that pretty. There's some waterfalls nearby. I'm not sure. I might try to snag a campground tonight. Probably further south. But for now, I need to get my breakfast going. And I apologize in, the, in advance for the horrible hair. Like I said, that's just a part of van life. Hey, kitty cat. You want some scratches? Oh, you do? All right. What a friendly neighborhood cat. How do you like life in the Delaware Water Gap? Yeah, you like it here? Lots of rodents for you to chase. 
A huge plus side to sleeping at an AT trailhead is of course being able to hike the best sections of the AT. Yeah, the crowd started rolling in around 8.30. That parking lot was full. I also got greeted by the friendliest cat in the world as I was walking down to the Delaware River. But the actual AT where it crosses over the river, you have to walk like on a couple of off ramps with cars going 50 miles an hour. It's a horrible setup. Anyway, the day is beautiful. I'm down at the river's edge right now, and I'm gonna switch over to the New Jersey border, or Pennsylvania border, whatever it is, and hike up Mount Tammany. There's a guy down there rowing on the stretch of the Delaware River. This is one place I would not want to bring my kayak. I'm too worried about hubcaps and parts of cars raining down on me as I pass under there. I've seen enough detritus on the side of the highway to know what can happen. That's the second day in a row I've used the word detritus. I wonder if I heard it somewhere. There's one type of cactus that grows in the northeastern U.S. It's called Opuntia. It grows right here on the side of Mount Tammany. Warning, it looks like it only has one spike every centimeter or so. It actually has hundreds of little microscopic needles. I got coated all over my hand. I started licking it. Now it's coating my tongue and my lips. I feel like it's razor blades in my mouth, like I'm chewing glass. Yeah, that was a very dumb move. The view from the top of Mount Tammany is the best New Jersey will ever look. But all I could think about while I was up there on the ledge shooting was getting those little spindles of that prickly pear out of my tongue. I wish I had tweezers with me. Anyway, descending, I got a little sidetrack coming down the mountain. It's easy to lose sight of that trail, be careful. But I'm down at the water again and I noticed more people rafting on this stretch of the river. It actually looks really cool. I'm getting boat fever right now. I was thinking about going to the other side and hiking up Mount Mincy, seeing the view from there, but I don't know. I kind of want to be on the water. Maybe I'll Google for a boat launch as soon as possible. Let me think about it. Popular inland destination in the United States next to Saratoga Springs. Every year, the nearby train station was a revolving door for more than half a million tourists from New York and Philadelphia. I need to balance every day with hiking, boating, driving. Normally I can do two, but not all three things. After seeing those people on the water at Delaware Water Gap, I decided I want to get some time on the water too. Hopefully before sunset, but not around there. So I am driving south to Delaware. Yes, one of two states I've never been to, along with Alaska. I've actually been driving through it for about an hour now. My first impression, it's very flat. Second impression, it's very hostile to van life. I was just at a rest stop they had a no overnight parking sign, towing warnings. I looked at a couple of the Walmarts around here. They had horror stories in the Google reviews about getting towed during the night. So yeah, I don't want that to happen. I do want to get in the water. It's called Haven Lake where I'm going right now, but where I'm going to sleep after that, I don't know, man. Delaware is a little bit scary. This is the most winding road I've ever taken to get to a boat ramp. Thankfully, there's some other cars here. I'm gonna set up in record time. This is the latest I've ever gotten onto the water. The first time I folded or unfolded or whatever it is with a kayak while an air raid siren was going off. I guess Delaware is known for its military bases. This is called Haven Lake. One reason I picked it out is because there's a Walmart nearby and a grocery store where I can get food later. I was hoping at camping at that Walmart tonight, but the Google reviews were very assertive about not overnighting there, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right now, I'm gonna boat 
up through the twilight. I do have my headlamp this time. I actually enjoy rowing in the dark more than I do rowing during the day. So this lake, Haven Lake, has one very built up end and one very unpopulated end. I'm gonna go down to the nature end, obviously. Look how low the sun is. I've ruled out the idea of ever owning a house, like after living in a van for a few years. It might be a small house, but you have to admire the properties of some of these lakefront houses. One over here has its own peninsula. I honestly like this one right here that's only one story tall. That would be perfect for me. Now, these are not lily pads, at least what I was encountering on the lakes in Massachusetts. They're much larger and they don't sit on the water. They come up above it. I'm not sure what species this is. I'll have to look it up later. They call this the golden hour. Great light, the hour before the sun sets. It's right in my eyes right now because there are no clouds. I would love to get some great definition in the sky. But for now, I am just enjoying the beautiful swamps of Delaware, which is like all the state is, just estuaries and swamps. They build elaborate bridges over them. I drove over some of them. But apparently they're not cool with van life. Not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna be out here on the water. For now, I just wanna clear my head, enjoy this sunset. This is the part of the video where I wrestle Moby Dick back into shape. As for where I'm going to sleep tonight, that'll be the next video. I hope in the meantime you guys enjoyed today's exploration of the waters of the Delaware River, its mighty gap, and its beautiful flat swampy state. Sorry, bad first impression of Delaware. Delaware. In the meantime, hit that like button below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Help me support my van life journey across the US as I try to explore, having sold everything I owned, moving out of a beautiful apartment. I'm just trying to make it work. Oh, and by the way, my last video was my 100th video, and today is my two-year anniversary of living full-time in my van. All right, peace out, everyone.